good morning it's saturday and today we are doing a park run uh today we're doing a park run in st Nits, and i don't actually know how to get there i've followed a map to the spot where i'm parking which appears to be a school i've asked someone they said yep you can park here that's fine <laughs> but i now need to find my way to where the race starts because there's loads of fences around and it's not in the school i know that much so I'm hoping I can find, uh, I've just seen someone in a 100 t-shirt. I'm going to run off and I'm going to follow them. So, see you in a minute. Follow your mark. Go! <laughs> Welcome to Pocket Park! <laughs> Thank you. Good Thank best. You. Hello. Hello! This is Russ, that's Mark. Behind me are Richie and Sarah. Oh, no, so I love you though. <laughs> so, I think we're fine, that's me. <laughs> Which one do you want? That one? I need your personal one, which is this one, please. Oh, yeah. And then, then I need your position. Oh, yeah. Then I need to keep that into there, please. Thank Lovely, thank you very much. Well done. Whew. That is the second park run. Done. Pocket park run in St. Neats. 27 minutes, 19 seconds. Which is, I think, a full minute slower than the first one I did. But considering I haven't been as consistent in this last month I'll take that as a win I didn't actually come out for any sort of PB today and that course is definitely not a PB course it's multi-trail so there's like path mud grass like stone trails so all sorts but good fun well that's the uh, pocket park run I didn't go to to break any PBs I just fancied doing a park run today it's the first kind of longer run I've done and yeah I just wanted to kind of take it easy I won't lie I didn't really take it easy I did push a little bit I was like I was uh wasn't trying to like run fast but at the same time I wasn't running slow slow so I wasn't running slow at all to be fair yeah it was kind of a medium effort let's say it wasn't all out it was a medium effort um and the legs feel good I will be foam rolling and pure sporting and stretching and everything else under the sun when I get home. But the missus and the kids want a McDonald's on the way home. So I'm going to stop there, get a McDonald's breakfast. Haven't had a McDonald's breakfast for ages. Oh yeah. And a nice coffee. I say nice. It's a McDonald's coffee. It's not a nice coffee. It's just coffee. But yeah, there was a guy there. Rodrigo, his name was. And he's... I can't remember... It was seven marathons, I know that, because I was talking to him while we were running. And um, I think he was behind me for a bit, which they were shouting out because they saw the camera, so I started filming him. And, um, yeah, seven marathons. I didn't catch whether it was in seven weeks or seven days. Either way, that's, like, that's quite a crazy achievement. Like, he said his legs were tired, not surprisingly. Um, and he's doing it for motor neurons disease charity so good on you Rodrigo um, well done his last one is tomorrow um, up in Leeds the Leeds Marathon so good luck you're probably not going to see this video but um, if you do by some chance see this video well done and congratulations on the, all the money that you've raised for motor neurons disease a lovely bunch of people again the second park run I've done everyone's really friendly it really doesn't matter who you are, what your ability level is. People just go there for a social, really. It's just people who run, who like to, to chat and meet new people. It's, uh, it's a good laugh. I really enjoy it. 
I think that's it from me. I'm gonna go and get the missus and the kids some McDonald's before before McDonald's breakfast closes. So I will see you on the next one.